Well, there's a worldwide uh, kind of thing that I think uh, needs to be addressed that I feel a lot of people in wheelchairs would agree on is that airplane accessibility is like the worst for anyone that's like us because a lot of us get injured like Chuck who can probably elaborate on that a bit. Chuck, how about you tell him about you? Yeah. Really, uh, the a airplane accessibility, the way it is now, is not accessible for people like Dale and I. It is, it truly is a nightmare getting on and off the airplane. And the last three times I was on the plane, I hurt myself. I uh, twisted my foot, twisted my knee, and I pulled uh, something in my shoulder. And that's not right. That's not what accessibility is all about. Just because you can jam somebody into an aisle chair, fold them in half, and then wedge them into a seat, isn't doesn't mean it's accessible. <laughs> yeah, for most people who probably don't know, it's like if we want to go on an airplane, we have to get lifted out of our chairs, which technically we can't be lifted without lifts, so that's possibly, you know, not able, not how we end up getting hurt, but it should be that they should have a way that we should be able to drive our chairs onto the airplane, actually be strapped down to the floor, and fly like regular people because, you know, a lot of disabled people can't get lifted out of their chairs and stuff without the proper medical equipment, so it's something that a lot of people get to miss out on. I yeah, the people with our level of disability can't get out of our chair, you know. Sitting in another chair is extremely uncomfortable and requires a lot of pain meds. Yeah, and especially for someone like, you know, us, some of us have side pads to hold us up because of the curvatures in our spine and we have, you know, well, we, have, have, we have special seats we sit on too. We can't sit on a regular foam seat. Yeah. So, well, unless we want bursitis. <laughs> yeah, and that doesn't uh, help the situation. So because of this, like we, you know, we're unable to fly due to all these things. But now with, you know, the technology and the way things are going, I think a little more should be invested into well, yeah, accessibility. If, uh, if the airlines worked with the wheelchair manufacturers and came up with a uh, solid strapping system, I would think it would have to be some kind of a, a sliding type strapping system that the chair would go on, very similar to what the military uses and what current cargo airplanes use to strap down uh, big crates. Yeah, because I mean... It and is... they would also need something to strap down the seat just as an extra, extra precaution type thing because, you know, but I'm pretty sure, like, this stuff can be figured out, and I don't think it would be very hard to accommodate these, but I just think, you know, that it needs to be known that this is a big concern for us, because, you know, most of the times if we do want to go anywhere, we have to drive, and if it's far away, you know, it takes a long time for us, because it's not like we can, you know, Go and stop and then get out so you basically have to drive along and then that's kind of hard on us so it's kind of like, you know, hard for us to really go anywhere other than, you know, where we live pretty well.